Okay, next up, we've got Team Food Bites. Please come up on the stage. Hello, everyone. I'm Ishwar, and this is Neethi, and we're from Team Food Bite. So three weeks ago, I was walking back home from campus in Cambridge, and uh, I stopped by at a salad bar and decided to pick up some salad. And like most food portions in the United States, it was very large. Like this, I couldn't finish a huge bowl of salad, so I decided to put the rest of it inside my refrigerator. I told myself, I'll eat it tomorrow night for dinner. Four days passed, and I hadn't eaten it. But I opened my fridge that night and saw that I had salad left still and decided that I can have it for dinner. So I opened it, and this is what I found. Spoilage. I found a gross and grotesque combobulation that was once my leafy green salad. But the salad isn't alone. As a millennial, 30% of my fridge is likely to spoil, according to statistics. Immediately after finding that salad, I tossed it in the trash, and I felt an emotion that we've all shared. I felt bad for the food that I wasted, for the money that was wasted in buying that salad, and the time that I wasted. In our user research, we found that we're not alone in feeling this. Many millennials are wasting food. They're feeling bad about it, and they're forgetting what they have. And ultimately, they're not tracking the food that they have. So this is why we built Tagit. Tagit is a simple, smart countertop timer that reminds busy young professionals about food before it spoils. So what is Tagit? Tagit can be broken up into three components. The first is a gorgeous and sleek countertop dock that sits next to your fridge. The second are, is reusable smart tags that you can use to track your food. The third is a phone application that lets you keep track of what you have. So if I had tag it, what could I have done? First, I would have taken one of the reusable smart tags out of the dock. This one is color coded as yellow. I would place it into the dial and turn it to two days. The dock would recognize the individually identifiable tags and set it to be reminded for two days. And the phone application, it notifies me that the yellow tag is now being tracked. And it'll remind me in two days. Two days later, I get a notification saying, it's dinner time, eat me. <laughs> now, when I do eat it, I simply take it off of the salad and put it back in the dock and the application knows immediately that it's been consumed. Now, beyond just tracking individual food items, we also track the food consumption of the individual. We provide notifications to let them know how they've been doing on a month-to-month -month basis. And in this example, after saving 20 items, I received a Food Ninja badge to encourage me to continue. So ultimately, we developed, food, we developed Tagit because we felt this pain of wasting food and not being able to track what we have. We built Tagit to be as simple as a kitchen timer, but have the smarts of a smart fridge. To bring, to bring it to market to how, homes like yours, here's Niti to talk about the more details. There are about 11.6 million young, college-educated, working professionals in the US, and that's our target market. More specifically, we want to target the 3.6 million of them who cook less than three times a week. Food waste is really bad on their wallets too. They spend about $640 worth of food that's gonna just be simply thrown away. Current solutions out there does not adequately meet the needs of our target segment. Take the smart fridge, for example. It costs upwards of $5,000 and it has additional features such as video and entertainment that are more suited to large families. The fridge cam, which is cheaper, manually asks the user to scan their barcode to track inventory, something that our young, busy professional does not have time for. 
Tagit, with a price point of $39.99, provides the most value for our users by allowing them to easily tag the things that they care about tagging, like leftovers and takeouts. In terms of our go-to-market strategy, we want to create a lot of initial momentum uh, using our, um, using our uh, holiday season launch as a great starting platform. We want to send targeted ads uh, on Instagram and Facebook to create early adoption. Our initial markets are Boston and Bay Area, where there's a large concentration of millennials. And we want to use our strong network there to, uh, to get some word of mouth uh, advertising and marketing for us. Um, after that, as we expand to other cities, we plan to go to um, places where millennials shop for food, like farmers markets, and end the year with having a retail presence in stores like Trader Joe's and Whole Foods, where our millennials tend to shop. In terms of our product portfolio, we have uh, well, we'll have multiple product launches. Um, it, you know, having uh, different types of uh, targets, including a voice-based subscription. Um, we will uh, have our rec recurring revenue streams using, uh, using tag replenishment subscriptions as well as our smart analytics app platform uh, to continue to get recurring revenue streams. Uh, later on in the years, we will add another revenue stream through affiliate marketing with meal and food delivery services before uh, planning international expansion. Our financial projections reflect this uh, roadmap. As you can see, we have a high initial investment in R&D and marketing, but we expect to have strong growth driven by our recurring revenue streams and end uh, year five with about 15 million in uh, net income and about 48 million in total revenue. We are Food Byte, and we are trying to reduce food wastage one fridge at a time. And next time, don't waste it, just tag it. We like to... Thank you. <laughs> We'd like to invite our team onto the stage for Q&A. Thank you, Team Food Bite. Great, now we'll open to Q&A from the judges. Uh, is that wireless? Yes, this is wireless. So it connects to your phone, and this is uh, a charging dock underneath it to charge it. Mm. But it connects wirelessly to your phone via Bluetooth. So you don't need to charge it again. This, uh, so cur our current design is we're plugging it into the wall outlet, but um, in a future iteration, we're creating a wireless module, which would cost a little bit more, but allow users to place it wherever they want. Okay, thank you. So, so what do you expect the cost for, uh, uh, of these gadgets? And, you know. Angelica, do you want to take this one? Um, so just to clarify, are you saying the cost of production? Yes, cost of production. Um, yeah. Through our calculations and through our primary um, research, we were, we found that we, it would generally cost around ten U.S. dollars for production per unit. Per unit. <laughs> so, how many tags do you have on this ticket? Um, Jason, do you want to take this one? So, we essentially provide five unique tags, which are in different colors, bright colors, and for every time users who need to tag something, they attach it uh, maybe according to the color they want. Uh, for example, yellow for curry, and it's very, <laughs> it's, and very intuitive. And you attach it to the food, and maybe a few days later, you will be reminded that, oh, you need to get the yellow thing. Um, and you go to the fridge, open the fridge, just spot that bright yellow color, and then you will consume it before it spoils. I have two um, opinions to share. Uh, I think five is a little too less for me. Oh. We, we don't have only five kind of foods in our refrigerators, right? Because uh, we're trying to keep five cause, because it's a manageable number. Okay. Uh, we're not trying to ma uh, uh, let you to manually input the, all the names of your food because you, yeah, you basically keep five items in your mind and then you'll be reminded and you will yeah, have an idea of what food and what color it is. And uh, my second opinion is that uh, the question to me is that I'm not quite sure uh, how many times the food will expire. Yeah. So how do I like time it? In the 
the first place. Yeah, so think of it as the most common use case for our millennials is for like leftovers and takeouts. So they basically want to be reminded to eat it soon. So basically like three days or four days, that's kind of what we expect. So it's less about how long things might get take to spoil and more about a reminder to make sure you eat it before it spoils. And to add on really quickly about the first question, um, we're starting with five because, like she said, we're trying to target the leftover and takeouts, which our millennials, our millennials usually only have a few of at a time. But of course, you can have multiple of a color with different numbers, for example. So we, you know, we will sell expansion decks, which allow users who want to track more things to add on more, um, more tags for each color. So how long, every time when I charge it, how long would it last? Because if I forgot my food, then I probably forgot to charge this thing. <laughs> yeah. Alex, you want to take this one? Just to be clear, the dock itself is meant to be plugged in. The, the cards themselves, the tags, are actually completely passive devices. Um, they don't need to, there's nothing that needs in them that needs to be charged. They're simply a, a visual aid. I, I saw um, on your previous slides about the subscription, there is a like, premium model and so on. Can you expand a little bit about that? Um, because I don't see, you know, I, I want to understand what added value you can uh, provide to the user. Yeah, so there are two kinds of subscriptions that we have. Uh, one is uh, just a tag replenishment sub subscription. So say you want to store more items or you, you sometimes might end up like throwing away the food with the tag. So we have those subscriptions which will give you like automatic replenishments of the tags at a discounted price. The other big subscription is the software subscription. So there's where we have a lot of smart analytics on your food and consumption habits uh, and help you become like better. We'll give you smart recommendations of say what recipes can you make out of the, you know, out of the things that you tracked. Um, you know, and just more uh, smart reminders to make sure that, oh, you, t you know, you usually tend to forget about this at this time. So we'll remind you at this time. So our uh, software subscription is very driven by our data analytics and machine learning platform. And so that's kind of the value add uh, that we aim to provide. Okay, thank you. Fantastic. So that wraps up our Q&A from the judges. Thank you so much. Team Food Bite.